All right, Lil Boosie is canceling a upcoming a a joint album with uh, T.I. Because the interview surfaced, I think, like, late last year. You're not looking. You know, and he's going to blow back because you're not looking. I tell you, women can't drive. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it was an interview that, that surfaced. And I seen it on Twitter like late last year where um, T.I. You know, T.I. said admitted to throwing some throwing some charges on a dead cousin. And he said, I had a conversation with my dead cousin and said, if you, you know, if you want to take, if you know, if you're here to take the charges, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I take you can take them and I'll go to jail. But if you ain't going to take these charges, you know, you did. And it's kind of been a debate because what was my man from New York? Brian Glazer. I think he used to be, a, he used to be on the Info Minds channel, but I think uh, they got demonetized. But I, I don't know if they still on YouTube. It was a good, good, good channel too. And Brian Glazer, Glazer, sorry for mispronouncing his name. He got accused of telling on... Um, people that was dead to help police close the case now what you got to understand too people say what do police or you know law uh law officials get for closing the case you know your conviction rate you know that that you know the many cl cases you close and the precinct you closing the for and the prosecutor and all that you close an open case in which y'all rates go up and people start to advance so it ain't that they care about the family or they they sympathizing about the victims you know, and a lot of these guys, you know, in this case, are black victims. It's not that. They just, like, you know, they want to get their numbers up for the job. You know, and if a lot more police officers got involved because they wanted to, you know, help and they cared about people, we have more, more of those guys that force to be better. But I'm always a promoter of real talk, black people joining the force. But don't forget where y'all came from. All right. We need more people. And the only answer to, to change what's going on in the world with police brutality is to get get brothers. And, and, and what no matter, get diversity in the police force. But then these, these guys get in the police force and they worse than the white cops. And I'll just leave it at that. But Boosie got mad because he, he's heard the interview with T.I. Saying that he threw some, some, some charges. He snitched on a dead cousin. He said, well, I text him. And I wasn't happy with that. And I don't mess with rats. And. And this, that, and the third, we cast in the album. You got to understand, their kids hang out together, too. And they had a relationship talking about when, you know, their kids got locked up together not too long ago. So, you know, at the end of the day, that's his principle. That's the integrity. He don't want to be affiliated with it. I ain't, I don't really, I ain't mad at him. You know how I feel about, you know, snitching on somebody that's dead? Hey, man, you know, Boosie got into it with uh, Birdman's, what, what was it, his half-brother, whatever, Terrence Gangster Williams, whatever. About he told on some dead people to get out. Man, I tell you this: when you sit in there long enough, and Boosie is only one few people that I, you know, that can say, "Well, I sat in there, and I faced the death penalty, and I ain't snitched." So guess what? What can you say about that? He was facing the death penalty. Dog was facing the death penalty, and he didn't tell. So. But a lot of him going to jail, and he admit, he'd admit this. Him and his situation was due to his his immaturity, saying public officials' name, just like Tupac was saying police officer name in songs and being young and dumb. And that's another reason why you hear people like Kodak say, "Oh, you put he can't go back to your hood, bro. You a target, not just by people in the hood, by law enforcement." And Boosie had to realize that, you know, that's why he had to move up out of out the boot. Out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. When you young, and you know, and you don't listen to what, what God's telling you, like Boosie is saying, his message is saying, or it may be Birdman, his message, what he's saying, because he's very successful in, the, in in business. People don't know how successful that man is. And you don't listen to what guys like Jay-Z saying when he's giving advice to these young guys. They, in general, young people don't listen. You tell them exactly what's going to have to happen. And a lot of these kids today got to keep bumping their heads. And now you bump your heads, you dead, bro. You in jail. In jail to get people mind right. Everybody about to sit in there. So you sit in there for, uh, sit in there about a day. Most people, a month, a week, 
and all that type of stuff, bruh, people be the average person ready to sing. So I respect Boosie and what he's standing on. But it's a lot of people around Boosie. It's a lot of people Boosie done did songs with that if they was, you know, in jail, they was in T.I. predicament, they was in his predicament, they snitching. I, I done hung with people that, that do dirt, right? And we didn't have car rides. And one of the boys like, if I go down, I'm taking everybody down with me. Niggas like, you a whole ass nigga. Niggas laughing and shit. Man, he wasn't lying, bro. I knew this going in, bro. I, if, if three, if four, five of us together and we hit a lick, which that's not my life. But if we hit a lick, the percentages tell you it's a high percentage that somebody gonna snitch. It's a high percent. So it's the first who snitch first. It's a high percentage. You know? And am I going down for something I didn't do? Absolutely not. I'm not going down for something you did. You out your mind. That's my that's my thing on it. I ain't going to jail for something you did. Like, you know, you better be my mama, my brother, you know what I'm saying? My daddy, my grandma, somebody of that elk for me to even consider it. But if you do something and I ain't got nothing to do with it, I'm not taking a rap for you. And that's not snitching. I ain't going to jail for nobody. Fuck you. Unless you keep my son, my daughter, something like that. I'm not going to jail for nobody. But if we do it together, nah, bro. I knew we did something. I knew what I signed up for. Now, you know, how do y'all feel about him throwing it on the dead cousin? Hey, hey, dead cousin. Hey, here you go. Take these charges. You know, shit, you, I mean, you ain't going, you ain't walking out. So I get T.I. point and I get Boosie point. But shit, for me to be free, I don't give a fuck what your little Boosie thing. You know, but I do understand where he coming from where if I sign up for this, hey, I got to handle my own shit and get myself out of it. Pistol, murder charge, but it's, it's totally different when you stand down the barrel. Like somebody said, I die for my mom, I die for my kids. And when they come down to dying and taking the bullet, a lot of people freeze in the moment. A lot of people say shit and don't mean it, bro. You know, and a lot of people say shit and mean it. And some people can't tell the difference in the energy. And I just, I just seen that happen many a times where somebody think like, man, stop fuck with me, bro. And people, and people think like, it's going to be all oh, man, man, stop playing, man. And it turned into, you know, pow, pow, or boom, boom, or... And they get to going at it. You know, I've been, I've been pretty good at sensing people's energy. I know when somebody means something. And I know when somebody's trying to be hard and they ain't hard and they ain't going to do shit. That's just, that's just called street smarts. That's just called street smarts. Some people, some people, you can't, you can't, what 21 Savage say? You can't get this out of no book. Yeah, you can't. You can't, you know, you know, you can't, I can't even teach somebody how to be street smart. I can tell you, but it's really, it's really pretty much, it's pretty much just growing up in the street. That's just pretty much what it is. I can tell you, but until you actually, you know, go through it, you know, I really can't like explain it to you then. You know, you got to go through it, but I, I, I respect him. Now, Boosie had never been in that position, then you know that might be uh, that might be a different story, you know. But yeah, I mean, he scrapped all together. He don't want to be associated with it, you know. Kind of make Ti look bad, but everybody been seeing saying Ti snitch for years, bro. People been saying that for years about Ti, so that don't really that don't really surprise me. That don't really surprise me about Tip. That don't surprise me. To some people, it is surprising. But, I mean, you know, you notice how some people just can't keep their mouth shut? You know? He, he, he ain't had, it wasn't nobody bringing out paperwork, saying Tip a snitch. Uh, oh, Tip taught on his cousin. Tip taught on himself. If you listen... Close enough. If you listen and you watch, sometimes you ain't got to hear nothing. If you watch somebody, you will know their true intentions on what they what they think about you and what how they really move. And don't ignore it because you caught up in lust or how they look or how long y'all been friends. But if you really pay attention, dude, I have to pick up on this in life. A lot of times, if you just you sometimes you listen, sometimes you watch. Sometimes, most times, you don't have to mix the two. It's either one or the other. 
you'll know where you stand at with a person on how they move and how they operate, how they respect you, if they don't respect you. And, and, and you listen to Tip long enough, Tip told you you snitch. That by the code of the law in the street, he snitched. Dead or not dead. So, some people might say it's petty and all that type of stuff. You're going to throw a friendship over there. He don't be associated with it. Cool. Cry two tears in the bucket. Bump it. Got to respect. Got to respect the man with integrity. Got to respect the man with a code. I don't agree with everything Boosie do or say, but you know what? I respect the man with integrity and the dude, the man with code. And ain't willing to waver and compromise off that code. There's some things that's non-negotiable, whether you dating, whether you cool with somebody. Somebody steal from me, dude. You ain't that. You ain't my friend. We ain't cool. Your homegirl cheat with your boy, with, take, then cheat with your man. Y'all ain't cool no more. She don't respect you. No matter if old buddy was a jump off or if old girl was a jump off, friends don't do that. It, even if we just casually kicking it. Out of all the dudes and girls out there, this is who you want to kick it with? I'm telling you, sometimes when we young, bro, just pay attention to this. When we young and you get to a certain point and you start looking back on all the shit, the signs that was there, that's what make, that's what make a human hard. That's what make a man angry. That's what make a woman bitter. All the experiences and all the signs that you let slide or or you ignore. And that's why it's hard for a lot of people to trust people, to continue to date people. You know what I'm saying? To continue to let your guard down and let people in. This will make people not want to help people. And I know people say, well, it's fucked up. You put that because your past experience or somebody else. Don't nobody want to get, get, get gypped twice. Three times, four times, ten times. That's why people get old old and, and, and angry. And they're hard. And, it, and it's hard to let somebody else in and, and, and make new friends. For me personally, it is. It is. Because I don't trust I don't trust people. So, like I said, unless we came up in a sandbox together like that, you know, in school, I don't really trust a lot of motherfuckers, bro. But hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out the music entertainment playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Amazon Music, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Peace.